Hey guys, uh, Jess here. Um, I wanted to go ahead and talk about um, the news that we got yesterday. Oh, there's an echo in this room, isn't there? Anyways, um, uh, we got uh, Xenoverse 2 news. Of course, we found out that the DLC for Xenoverse 2 um, that we're getting uh, Merges Amasu and we're getting uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, which we knew we were going to get at a random stage. It's just a kind of a bummer. I'm hoping that the information that we received in that scan that got leaked, I think it was leaked or it was released or whatever it was, I hope that we're also getting Super Saiyan Rage. But anyways, that's not the point of me making this video. I wanted to go ahead and talk about the other information that we found out. Um, I'm a huge advocate of the Nintendo Switch, huge Nintendo Switch supporter. And as you know, Xenoverse 2 is coming to the Nintendo Switch. And, um, you know, at first I thought it was going to be a regular port, but oh my god, my boy. The information, the details that we got about what Xenoverse 2 is going to give us on the Switch is quite astounding. I mean, we're talking about, uh, I mean, let, let's get to the nitty gritty, right? So we're talking about the fact that you can break off the Joy-Con controllers, use them individually, and um, do uh, two-player um, fights, you know, with um, with your friends or whoever's around, you know, you want to throw down in Xenoverse, you want to give them the hands, right? That was kind of expected, that was kind of cool. Um, the next one's kind of gimmicky. Um, they were saying, like, you could, with the motion controls, you can do a Kamehameha, and you do a Kamehameha in the game. That kind of reminds me of uh, the Takenshi game on the Wii. I think you were able to do that. But, you know, that's kind of gimmicky. Um, and then the whole uh, way that you can network with other people that have other Switches and, you know, meet up together and do, you know, fights against each other using the Switches, all that's pretty cool. But I think to me, the biggest news is the fact that we're getting the Xenoverse 1 stages. Xenoverse 1, uh, I guess, story mode, the campaign, included into Xenoverse 2, I think for a limited time. I'm not really sure. I'm just nerding out. I'm geeking out here. Um, on top of that version, with the ability to pay to unlock you know, all 70 characters or however many characters that we get along with the DLC that's been coming out. Um, so this is shaping up to be, I thought it was just going to be like a lower res, resoluted um, port, but this is shaping out to be as a whole, it looks like it's going to be Xenoverse 2, the definitive version they have, which is crazy. You know, um, props to Bandai Namco for making a badass game, it seems. Um, it, it, it's pretty much like what happened with Mario Kart 8. Yes, Mario Kart 8 came before, it was on the Wii U. But, but the recent Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that came out on Nintendo Switch is a definitive version. You get all of that already. So it looks like they're doing the same thing with the Xenoverse. But um, I have a couple concerns, you know, like is this going to be able to run at the same frame rate you know are we gonna have frame rate issues on the switch because we don't know the switch isn't as powerful as the ps4 or the xbox one um you know my fear is that they're not what they're not telling us and that what we might get and this is just me i didn't hear this anywhere else <clears throat> is that we're getting the reskinned dragon ball xenoverse one from the 360 and the ps3 with Xenoverse 2 characters and the Xenoverse 2 campaign and the Xenoverse 1 campaign. You know, like we're going to miss out on, you know, the updated hit detection, the snap of uh, vanishing and all that stuff. You know, like the core gameplay that really changed when we hit Xenoverse 2. I hope that isn't the case. But for the most part, Dragon Ball Xenoverse for the Nintendo Switch is looking hype. Um, I'm not going to say when this is supposed to come out. There's rumors that it could come out this October of this year, which isn't too far away. That'd be pretty cool. And then there's also rumors that it's going to come out in March of 2018. So we'll see. But anyways, what are your thoughts? 
opinions on Dragon Ball's Universe 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, what are the details and all the stuff that you're most excited for and what haven't they announced that you wish that they put in the Xenoverse 2 version. But anyways, this is Jay and um, remember to always smile and uh, have a good day and I'll catch you guys later. Hit that like button and subscribe.